Hi, this is Ryan Hoff with your AIC Legislative Minute for February 24th, 2022, brought to you by Financial Solutions Group, Inc. As the legislative calendar grows short, I want to update you on Senate Bill 361, which I briefly discussed last week. Again, this is the bill sought by the Indiana Economic Development Corporation, which seeks to create so-called innovation development districts, whereby the state would collect local tax increments and direct them back to the state for their own economic development use. This bill was heavily amended this week in House Ways and Means Committee and on the House floor. First, they removed the potential for the state to collect the increment on the local income tax. Second, they created a board to administer each IDD and decide how its funds would be spent. Also, it limited the incremental funding to AV that comes from industrial and commercial properties and limited the number of IDDs that could be created without further state approval. While these were steps in the right direction and narrowed the local impacts, AIST still has significant concerns over the package as a whole. We have continually asked that local officials have a meaningful decision-making role in creation of an IDD within their jurisdictions. That is not part of the bill. The six-member IDD board that would administer each IDD would not be controlled by the local units who are forced to give up their property tax increment. The IEDC and local units within the IDD jurisdiction would split the appointments of the six committee members. If the IDD covers multiple jurisdictions, it is not likely everyone will have a seat at the table. But all of that is secondary to the point that the IEDC would still be able to create any size district they like, which triggers the collection of the property tax increment without local approval. Also, we ask that the tax increment only be collected on the new development that the IDD was created to attract and that ancillary commercial and industrial AV should continue to flow to the local taxing units. Further, we ask that if an IDD is created, that the tool only be used for the transformative large-scale projects over $1 billion in total private or corporate investment that are the intended target. We're now getting to Getting very short on time for this legislative session. While conversations continue on this bill, we must urge you to make your opinions on this legislation known to your legislators soon. Next week, we'll see final action on this bill in the House, and while there is potential for a conference committee, there is no set timeline on when that might happen. Please contact your legislators with your concerns on Senate Bill 361 before time runs out. This has been the AIC Legislative Minute brought to you by Financial Solutions Group, Inc.